SAPS Scale Assessment for Positive Symptom is one of the most widely used positive symptom rating scale that are utilized frequently in clinical and research setting. The purpose of SAPS is to screen and assess the severity of positive symptom in schizophrenia patients that includes hallucination, delusion, bizarre behavior, and various formal thoughts disorder manifest in psychosis. Type of assessment is clinical outcome measure that use structured interview question. Component of SAPS SAPS consists of 34 items, including 4 global rating items, and are divided into 4 domains which are Hallucination Delusion Bizarre behavior And formal thought disorder Target population for SAPS is schizophrenia and other disorders that involve psychosis while contraindication for SAPS is patient with poor insight and patient with dementia or MCI. Administration time is 30 to 60. Administration procedure. Therapists need to conduct an interview with the patient and observe patient's speech, attitude and appearance during the interview. Therapies need to rate each item with a 6-point rating scale and includes a global rating scale which is the summarized score of the symptom in that domain. The symptoms are rated during the last month and therapies should not administer SAPS when the patients are having psychosis due to medication use. Administration Demonstration Assalamu alaikum, Ms. Just. I am Amira and I will be your occupational therapy for today. So for today's session, I will be asking you a few questions so that I could understand your symptoms better. So you will be needing to answer my question uh, regarding what you experienced throughout the last week. Okay. okay. Um, so the first question is, do you hear any noises? such as ringing, uh, stepping, knocking, or did you hear any voices talking to other people or talking to you? Mm, I did. I hear people knock the door several times. You hear people knocking the door. Uh, did you also hear any other noises? Yeah. Did they converse with um, other people or they talk to you directly? Asking you to do things, um, commenting on you. Mm, they talk to me. Okay. They tell me to kill my brother. They and ask you to kill to, someone. Yes, and they ask me to self harm. Okay. Scoring procedure. The total SAPS score range from zero to one hundred and fifty. It can be calculated by adding all 30 SAPS items, while the global SAPS score range from 0 to 20 and can be calculated by adding all global rating scale items, which are item number 7, 20, 25, and 34. Scoring Interpretation The higher the score, the greater the symptom severity. Psychometric Property Validity SAPS have excellent content validity, good construct validity, and are strongly correlated with brief psychiatric rating scale. Reliability SAPS have good internal consistency, weak to moderate test retest reliability, and good interrater reliability. Advantages SAPS assess the range of various subtypes of hallucination and delusion and may provide a tool for cataloging the range of hallucinatory and delusional phenomena. SAPS also are easy to administer with a structured interview and have a clear anchor provided as part of the scale. Disadvantages SAPS does not provide a systematic way of capturing the presence of character of all psychotic phenomena. Therapists without experience interviewing patients with schizophrenia may have less familiarity with many of the constructs within each subsection. The presence of insight is also not 
taken into account with the scoring. Suitability for Malaysian population SAPS is suitable to be used with Malaysian population, however, there is still no Malay translation for this assessment.